to a place that we don't know where we're going at all. Just know we wanna go outside and look pretty. As you guys know, this is election year. I will not talk about politics or any of that on this channel. However, please understand, I am going to go vote and I encourage you all to go vote, do some research, take a minute and go vote please this is very very crucial um the things that are going to be changing taking place in this year election will not only affect us as a generation people who are here today living and breathing but it will impact the next generation the generation after that and moving forward that's all i'm gonna say about it now with that, as we're doing our makeup and talking about fibroids, y'all, this is just primer. I'm trying to get rid of this. Nothing's wrong with it. It's just, I had it for so long. Another thing of uh, primer on, just because my T-zone tends to sweat. Oh, this is uh, this is primer by Milk. I, want my, I like my makeup to be matted. So I'm just putting it in my T, my T-zone area only and under my eyes. Only because that's why I tend to like shine the most when it gets super, super hot. And if y'all don't know me, yeah, I like to talk or whatever, but if I'm put on the spot or strangers try to come up to me and like just talk or whatever, I'm trying to figure out like, what's your MO? What you want? I get hot. I sweat. Oh, let me get my top lip because that's why I sweat first. We random conversations. I talk to you guys a lot about fibroids, how to manage it, um, inflammation, what to do. We talk about working out your lifestyle, how to maintain your body day to day from eating healthy, taking vitamins, going to see your physician, like all of the things, right? But do we ever talk about like your mental well-being, how for some people, Learning to know you have fibroids or no, not even learning you have fibroids because this is back up. The point that you are affected by fibroids, how mentally draining that is, oh, it can be so taxing. So my question is, if you have any type of female health issues, but like y'all know I talk about fibroids all the time, but anything that makes your life more difficult, complicated than it needs to be, um, just as a woman, when it comes to your health, nobody really talk about like the how taxing it is mentally. So my question is, what are y'all doing to preserve your mental health? Because there are a lot of us who are quote unquote like super women. We're like the mom with the cape on that nobody sees. We're the we're the friend that everybody calls to trauma dump or uh, gain some type of advice with. We're someone who um, ha have a, a certain expertise in an area of life that everybody like relies on them. Or we carry the family, uh, no matter if it's financially or strategically. Um, and or we're someone who just have great common sense. So, so some things come easier to us. And or outside of that, like we're book smart. So we know how to put two to two together to make 45. If you get it, you get it. So what do you do when nobody checks on you? What do you do when nobody calls and asks, how are you doing? What do you do when no one gives you flowers, uh, metaphorically or physically? What do you do for yourself? How do you take care of yourself? That's what I want to know. 
Um, for me personally, I do some check-ins. I am checking in because there's a point of time that I did not. I didn't do any type of check-ins at all uh, with myself. And then was trying to understand why like, I felt alone. I felt isolated. I felt like I was on this, this island, just destitute. You know, so um, one thing for I do, I just like check in with myself and how I check in, I journal. I ask myself one question and I just, I write, I write, I write. I self-evaluate in that mix and as I'm writing, I just free, freestyle, just write, 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 and I'm seeing where it gets me. Nine out of 10 chance, well, not nine, 10 chance. Sometimes when I'm like freestyle journaling, just off of one question and my mind, well, I definitely, I can just see where my mind is going. And if my mind goes to a negative spot, I stop and I immediately, I continue to write, but I immediately transition from just freestyle writing to a freestyle prayer. For me, um, my religion, what I believe in spiritually has helped me from day to day, from help me from one situation to another. Although I may not have seen the end of the light, have I not seen, you know, the outcome of which it would it would be, it religion and what I believe in, which is God, helped me um get back to the center. And then also, as you guys see, you guys know, not I work out. Not only do I work out. Um, not only do I work out because it's, it's healthy, it's good for fibroids and, you know, getting, moving that body and we're getting older. So it's kind of like you use it or you lose it. We're not that much of an age that if you don't use it, you lose it. I.e. meaning like you're not in retirement age, you're not, uh, 60, 70. However, I don't want to get to a spot where now my knees hurt and my thighs hurt, and my back hurt, and my spine hurt. Like, I don't want to get to a spot that I can't do nothing because everything hurts. So I work out. But also, working out is, like, more mentally relaxing than physically. Like, sometimes I just do not want to go work out, but after I do, oh, a fresh air. It's like, give me a new breath. So another thing that I do to, just like, check in with myself to make sure that I am good, besides journaling and working out, is that I lean into my own hobbies, things that I like to do. Like, like I like walking. I mean, of course, that's working out or whatever, but um, let's use another hobby. Like, believe it or not, I consider skincare and makeup, all the things, I consider that as a hobby. I consider shopping as a hobby. I consider um, cooking as a hobby that I tend to do. So like whatever that hobby is, and for anybody who's asking, a hobby is something that you partake in that is an activity of some nature that helps pass time. And, and with doing that, you feel some type of enjoyment or fulfillment from it. Like I like, I'm jumping into some hobbies. What we doing? We cooking today. We're doing X, Y, and Z. Just to relax my mind. Do, 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 do. These may be seem like easy things, but when you're mentally in it, baby, you don't want to hear none of that. You want to hear nothing. I don't want to hear nothing about no, let's cook because you you upset. Let's go work out. Now, if I do go work out because I'm upset or in my feelings, majority of the time I want to go like, I want to do like boxing or the gun range. <laughs> Um, yeah, so yeah, 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 keep it healthy, keep it cute. Seriously, what do y'all do? What do y'all do to ensure that? What do y'all do to ensure that, um, you know, you stay sane for yourself because nobody else is gonna check on you, or somebody will maybe check on you, it's just it's not the timing, so you just need that. Also, what I've learned is in this big age. I'm in my 30s. So in this big age, it's making sure that I have people around me that no matter they can't check in with me in real time, 
of me going through something that I have people around me who will um, will just do like little small stuff. And like for me and my friends, like my people who is my core that I lean on, if we're not sending text messages, we are sending memes. We're on Instagram. We're sending memes. We're sending TikToks. We're in group chats. And we're just talking. It could be like random stuff. Random stuff. And I love that because there are many times where, I don't know what this is, but this, I gotta figure out what this is from Sephora. Dang it. I don't know what that is. Um, Maybe that, because that is matching. Okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah, like I have, I have friends that we send memes to each other, like jokes back and forth. We send videos, we send inspiration. We do all the things. I have one friend who, while she's at work, she called me. And majority of the time, we just we just kick in. We just kick in. And I have another friend. I have another friend. I have a couple friends actually like that. But I'm using Dior. Um, yeah, I do a bad job keeping this camera on while I do my makeup because I be trying to concentrate. And I am not a makeup artist at all. So when I do my makeup, I have to make sure that I pay attention. And I know it's going down. Don't know about it. Take it, take it. Baby, one thing. She gonna make it pop. Oh, also, one other reminder. Um, at least twice a year, go get all your um blood work done to see all of your levels. If you're low iron, so if you're deficient in iron, that is telling. You can get to the root problem of things. Anything that's going on in your body, female health-wise, fibroid health-wise, um, or any other area in your body, you want to get to the root cause of it. So one way to get to the root cause of it in Western medicine is to see your vitals. So get all of your vitals checked to see like your levels of vitamin A, B, C, elemental P, all of those things, as well as like your iron deficiency. Then y'all, 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 please, if you are grown, if you're grown, if you're over the age of 18, even before then, but if you have any type of health issues, especially for those who, um, especially those who like made me like blood supply for whatever reason, make sure you know your blood type. One way for you to find out your blood type, when you give blood and for any reason, so if you give blood like to a blood bank or whatever, they should tell you. But also when you go get your vitamin, your vitals, so when they take blood from you to do all your checks, they should be able to provide you your blood type as well. That is important. Know your blood type. Because if you get into a situation, you out of the country or you in um, another physician care and it's an emergency uh, situation, you help yourself by knowing some of this information off the bat. I'm going back to my makeup now. Be with you, I forgive you, you my Muslim brother. I hide your flaws, so right or wrong, we still gonna love each other. My other partner seen the dean and heard the call of Islam. We took him to the mad jet as we proceeded in prayer. All the ones that want to be just like me and they feel I know they really love me based off looking at they end and it.
Thank you.